Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a compression test using just the Autel Maxi Pro MPA 208 TS without a compression gauge or an amp meter or an oscilloscope. I'm going to be demonstrating this on a 2017 Honda Accord or the ninth generation of Honda Accord. A regular compression test requires the removal of spark plugs, disabling of injectors, ignition coils, and the use of a compression gauge on each cylinder as well as multiple cranking of the engine to get compression values. But this activity test gives you compression values across all four cylinders all in one go without all the additional work. Now let's get this. A compression test is used to identify a cylinder or cylinders with low compression. Compression is a necessary stage of the four piston strokes in a four stroke engine and serves to compress the air fuel mixture. This is necessary to improve the burn as well as the power released from the combustion process. As you know the combustion process in the cylinders drives the crankshaft and that ultimately translates to motion through the transmission. Low compression may manifest with the following symptoms depending on the number of cylinders involved. Misfires and the car may run roughly, check engine light might be on, hesitation and poor power especially when you try to accelerate the car and if there's no compression at all in the engine the car will not start. Because these symptoms can also be caused by other combustion or tune-up items there's the need for proper troubleshooting anytime you have any of these symptoms and part of that troubleshooting is a compression test. Just to state here that this test works on recent Hondas I'm not sure how it works with other cars but I've been able to check for compression testing with the Autel Maxi Pro on a 2015 Toyota Corolla and it does have a compression test supported on the Corolla even though the steps are slightly different and you actually need a compression gauge for that process. Without further ado let's start the test so we hit diagnostics there are lots of updates yeah scroll to Honda okay so let's do auto detect read okay yes so we'll go ahead to select diagnosis, we'll select control unit and engine control module, we'll select active test and then we're looking for right so that's it right there. It doesn't measure compression directly but it uses variation in cylinder cranking speed. There's a very good correlation between cylinder cranking speed and compression so that's what this test uses. So we go into it. So again, just to flag that this should be done on a warmed up engine. Cylinder cranking speed variation test. This test checks for low compression based on the average duration of the compression stroke for each cylinder during 10 seconds of starter cranking. The result is shown as an estimated percentage of normal compression pressure. In lay terms, the test will measure variations in the speed of rotation of the crankshaft during the compression stroke of each cylinder. Speed of rotation will affect the duration of the piston strokes. So with this the duration of the compression stroke in each cylinder can be estimated. This test results will depend on the presence of any misfire DTC. So DTC should not be cleared before running the test. If a misfire DTC has not occurred the test will always show pass and are for reference only. If a misfire DTC has occurred and the test results will indicate check engine mechanical. Meaning there's a mechanical issue to be explored. As you may know low compression usually Usually results from mechanical issues. Burnt out exhaust valves, worn piston rings, blown head gaskets and things like that. This helps you rule out low compression. If you identify low compression in a particular cylinder then you need to troubleshoot further to identify what the cause of the low compression is. So very important after running this test you must perform ECM PCM reset from that menu to ensure that you re-enable the injectors because it's going to disable the injectors as part of this test. Okay, the vehicle is under test. Turn the ignition switch to start and hold it there for 10 seconds. Okay, so we'll just do that. So there's no low compression in the cylinders. Recall that the instruction mentioned that a pass result is for reference purposes only so I won't be comparing these cylinder values against each other. If you want to compare actual compression results across cylinders in order to determine uniformity you're going to need an actual compression gauge. So definitely this test will not replace that. Usually besides having low compression in a cylinder you want to ensure that the values are uniform across the cylinders and even though there may be variations that variation should not be more than 10%. 
These are just angular velocity values during the compression stroke of each cylinder. Remember I had said that the test uses variation in angular velocity or in lay time speed of rotation of the crankshaft to estimate the duration of the compression stroke. And as you can see here, the threshold for low compression for this test has been set at 90%. But the real value of this test is detecting low compression in cylinders. Quick and easy active test that you can do before you start getting your hands dirty. So and that's it and don't forget we need to reset the PCM so we'll say okay turn the engine off turn the engine on Attention all injectors are stopped you must perform the reset in the menu as said before so we say okay yeah it just tells you that data will be cleared and we reset the PCM PCM has been reset we say okay basically tells you about relearning idle and, and all of that so we just say okay hope this has been helpful and that you've loved this like share comment and subscribe peace